Here's what I'm wondering. Can, can airlines just not make money unless they act like a cartel? I mean, everybody, of course, makes more money when they act like a cartel. Uh, I, I think the world is generally always over airlined and over, over airplaned. Um, and so, therefore, it's hard for them to make money because someone always wants to add more capacity and take market share. What is the best measure right now of overcapacity in the U.S. major, among the ma major U.S. carriers? What are we looking for for that measure? Yeah, um, so we're, we watch sort of the biggest carriers and see what their responses have been. They're adding capacity at, at more than GDP, and that's always concerning. Right? So Southwest, we've seen they're adding somewhere around 6% more capacity this year. Delta's 3 or 4%. So when you see them start to add capacity above GDP growth, uh, that's when we start get con getting concerned. And we've started to see their, their fare slip. Their, you know, we measure them by yields, which is the price they're paid by a customer per mile they're flown. And we're starting to see yields come down for the first time in a number of years. Now, look, I mean, oil prices gave them a really big benefit yeah. at the end of last year, and, and, and it's persisted into this year. So the way we see it right now, they're, they're, they're sort of approaching the point where they've given back almost all of their gains from, from lower fuel prices. Now we see how much they really want to take market share. And it's part of the, the dynamic to close it out is that uh, there's a lot of smaller airlines that have been adding capacity yeah. a lot. You look at Spirit Airlines. They add 30% of capacity, or 30% 30, 30 more capacity year over year. If you're Southwest, you have to manage that risk of those people taking your market share. And of course, and the response is they're growing 6%. Particularly if you're Delta, uh, the price of oil affects your, your plans to purchase new planes, fuel efficient planes. That's what they're talking about right now in Paris, where you are. What are they saying? Well, I mean, we haven't seen Delta come in for an order. Delta flies an older fleet. In fact, what, what we've seen uh, so far in the show is we've seen a number of the Asian airlines come in and the Middle East airlines, you know, Qatar, Garuda. We haven't seen U.S. airlines buy a lot yet. Uh, United was in for some smaller Embraers. Uh, honestly, I, I think Delta... Uh, this actually might be the right time for Delta to be buying airplanes. Right. There may be some deals to be had. It looks like we, we won't sort of achieve what Farnborough was last year. Yeah, what I know, George, is Delta's and, given and away... interest rates are very low, so yeah, George, it could be a great time. Delta's given away 60,000 miles on one of their Visa or American Express cards, whatever they're doing. All I want to know is a kid has to get over Europe, to Europe for the junket uh, this summer. The summer's when the money's made. Is the money going to be made, as always, on the transatlantic scam, yeah. or is this year different? <laughs> Well, I, look, the transatlantic market is one of the better markets for the carriers, and it is a bit cartelish. It's controlled by oh, the really? joint ventures. You know, there's three big joint ventures that really control capacity across the Atlantic. Yeah, there's, you know, there's Star Alliance, so there's Lufthansa United, there's, there's Delta and uh, Air France, and there's, uh, there's uh, sorry, British Air and American, and they all really control the amount of capacity they put across the Atlantic. So the Atlantic probably has the best opportunity of keeping fares at a healthy level and make a bunch of money. The interesting thing is, though, we're starting to see Emirates fly flights out of, uh, out of Italy into Kennedy, uh, which is, you know, that's transatlantic capacity. Yeah. We see Turkish flying it. We're starting to see fraying on the edges of that right, ability to right. control capacity inside uh, the transatlantic market. It'll be interesting to watch. I like that, fraying on the edges. Why do the kids have to go business class? It's not going to happen class? this year, but I, I think no it's going to get worse. George Ferguson, thank you so much. Out of the Paris um, air show.